Transformers Kingdom of the War for Cybertron trilogy is kicking off and we've got new toys of our favorite Beast Wars Maximals and Criticons. And more G1, new skeletons, and straight up childhood favorites. And what better way to commemorate the 25th anniversary of Beast Wars than to look at the original Beast Wars TV series. But several fans have already done that, so I'm going to review the Korean ones. So, what's there to say about localized dubs? They're usually just word-for-word -word translations of the original script in another language. Unless it's something like... <laughs> and if it's a dub that's hard to find, lost to time, and lack of interest, confined to the archaic media format that is the VHS videotape, I'm sure even the youngins have at least heard of video and cassette tapes, so I'm not going to repeat that old joke. But what's intriguing about the Pizza Tomoja era in Korea is that it came through not one, not two, but five distinct business entities. From what I can gather, Pizza Tomoja was put on VHS first. And I was able to buy some formerly rental VHS tapes for an expected price on old rare media as this. I've got volumes 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. Two episodes each. And it's not exactly easy to confirm if a whole season of 13 tapes exist and if all 13 even survive to this day. Unhelpfully, there's no year of publication. But if I had to take a guess from its contemporaries, I would say 1997. The opening's just a regular Beast Wars theme with Korean text overlays over the title cards. The credits are also absolutely no help. Just the end and thank you. So on the cases, it says the distributor is Champ Video Production. Not to be confused with Champ TV or Comic Champ. And they were sure to promote their dubs of Evangelion, Magic Knight, Ray Earth, and Sailor Moon at the time. It's not exactly obvious in this state, but Champ Yongsang was apparently a subsidiary to Daewon Media, the lead animation business and licensor of Korea. Also associated with this release was the media manufacturer Sehan Media. Their business slogan? They disappeared in 2000. Before we hear the voice acting, I'm going to look at the other Korean Beast Wars dub. One of the big four Korean TV channels, NBC, that's Unhua Broadcasting System, aired their differently dubbed version of Beast to Watch you from October of 1998. And that's where this Korean original kicker theme song comes from. And of course, Korean kids in 1998 didn't have the foresight and commitment to record every single episode every single week until January 1999 for a complete Korean Beast Wars archived collection. So the NBC Beast War dub is lost media, along with a countless number of lost Korean dubs of imported shows of the turn of the century. Either way, both dubs ended with season 1 and its cliffhanger, traumatizing young viewers with the end of Optimus Primal, no question about it. And why they didn't continue with the completed season 2 is beyond me. But another different company picked up season 2. KU Communication. Really obscure, hardly any search results, and likely went defunct in the 2000s. And their naming was quite tropey and literal. Pyeonshin Robot Beast to War. Transformer Robot Beast War Singular. But it also has bonus features. A trailer for the Yamato Tekuru anime, an exposition recap in the regular opening, and written character bios for all the Maximals and Predacons. Optimus Prima! Optimus Prima! Rat to rap. Cheetah. Cheetah. And of course, the completely unknown voice actors are completely different. But at least these tapes have a publication date. April of 1998? So if the spotty timeline is accurate, Season 2 hypothetically came after Taiwan's dub and before the NBC dub. But this video rental might have just been obscure enough that a good number of Korean kids only knew of the national NBC version, and were too depressed or confused to find this dissociated sequel. Boy, it would have sucked for them to see three different Optimus Primes die realistically, and the entire show with them. 
in the old times of limited access to the English internet. This four episode collection could well be the only dubbed episodes of season 2, as they're explicitly volumed part 1 and part 2. Well, I guess this indeterminate conclusion is better than going all the way to the end of the agenda and giving up there like in other countries. Now, back to that lost NBC dub. Online, we've only got the opening and a few random audio snippets. This guy even called NBC to see if they had it, but they can't sell anything to them because of copyright and publication rights to something imported 25 years ago. So he took it upon himself to seek up the Korean audio with high definition 720p Beast Wars footage. And Beast Wars is far from the only 90s anime to get a complete redub for Korean network TV. And this time, we've got the names of some prolific Korean voice actors in the opening credits. And without further ado, here's a try comparison of three different dubs and three different voices of each of the Beast Wars characters. This what in the name of my great aunt Aussie? Kill that damn punk you Nega
To recap the complete picture, Young Toys imported the 1996 and 1997 Kenner Beast Wars toy line, with no direct synergy with Day One's Beast Wars. I guess that's fine with the majority of 1997's toy-only beasties and the most widely aftermarket circulated, and then there's the most famous Sonicon period and their imports of both the shows and toys of Beast Wars 2nd and Neo of 1999 and 2000, though the Transipoma Beast to Wall anime is still unknown lost media. So that was a look into the wild jungle jumble of the truly plural Beast Wars, even more so than the other pre-movie disunified Transformers series in Korea. And I've covered the rest of that timeline, so you can check it out if you haven't. In spite of Beast Wars' localized obscurity in this one country, the legacy of the franchise endured in the mainland west, which spread back over to the fans around the world. And here's to the 25th anniversary of Beast Wars! And the 35th anniversary of the Transformers movie. And the 60th anniversary of NBC. And whatever other anniversaries this year. So thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been KR Rickbot.